Well, welcome back to iNose, the first digital nose for healthcare. And joining me to discuss some of the pivotal news, the expansion that's been going on this year, we have Jack Liu, Director of Corporate Development. First and foremost, welcome, sir. All right. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Such a pleasure to get you on. And I just want to dive into this. You recently announced that uh, iNOS and ACE Technology Holdings broadened the strategic partnership to deploy up to 15,000 AI noses, basically across key sites, while also announcing partnerships with, Ken, uh, sorry, Ken Mech and Solomon uh, to deploy AI powered Ascent Intelligent in smart factories across Asia. Maybe, can you kind of just discuss the partnerships and what they mean for the company? Yeah, sure. So uh, these partnerships basically move our core tech, that is AI nose into large scale deployment and long-term growth mode. So we form basically new four new strategic partnerships across robotics, semiconductors and automation so far this year. That's been an excellent momentum for us. So let me start with ASE. So this is the world's largest semiconductor packaging and testing company. So with them, we're planning to, uh, we're planning the phase rollout. We'll start with 1400 units of AI nose modules as a pilot launch. And then with the goal of reaching 15,000 units across ASE's key factories across the world, uh, we expect to embed, the, embed AI nodes into the operations to monitor industrial scent in real time, improving safety and enable better predictive maintenance. So ASE has manufacturing facilities all over the world in Taiwan, China, South Korea, Japan, Singapore, Malaysia, US, and all other regions. So we're very excited about opportunities with them, given their global footprint. So there are two others. Uh, we have ve we got very good partnership with Chemmec and Solomon. They're both well known for automation systems and are trusted partners in NVIDIA's AI factory programs. They got strong experience building smart factories using robotics, edge AI, and digital twin technologies. Now they'll add AI nodes, our product, to their platforms for use in smart factories, clean rooms, robotics. So by combining our smell tech with their technology, we can bring a new layer of intelligence to factory automations. Machines will be able to both see and smell, making it easier to detect problems, improve safety and optimize operations. So Chemmec and Solomon, they'll help, they'll help us reach more segments of the industrial market. For example, ASE gives us very good strong footings in the backend segment of the semiconductor value chain, but Chemmec and Solomon may open doors into other parts of the chip value chain and also other industrial segments, such as um, AMRs, HVACs, public infrastructures, and logistics. And then finally, our very good partnership with Yugo in Japan. Together, we're giving robots the ability to smell their surroundings for the very first time. So Yugo robots are already used in office buildings, data centers, factories and public facilities across Japan. And now they're also expanding into the Southeast Asia. So these will open up many new opportunities for AI nodes in real world use cases like inspections, security, safety, and environmental monitoring. So together, these relationships uh, move, move us toward our goal of building a new kind of um, AI infrastructure. We call it smell tech as a service. We believe smell is the next frontier for machines to understand their environment, just like sight and sound. And you may have noticed all of our new partners are based in Asia, but they all serve global customers. There's a reason for that. Asia is the perfect launch path for our product. It's a strong in smart manufacturing, home of 70 semiconductor capacities and 45 of uh, electronic manufacturing services. At the same time, factories are using more automation in order to manage labor shortages. So we'll first validate our technology at scale in Asia, and then this will build a strong base for global expansions. And then finally, all these partnerships really fit into our capital efficient business model. So we can focus on developing the core tech while our partners support large scale deployments through their strong networks. Yeah, for sure. And before we look forward here, maybe roll back a bit. What other partnerships and company achieve, uh, achievements have been notable since the beginning of 2025? Just kind of recap where we sit today. Yeah. So 2025 has really been a turning point for iNOS. So where we've shifted from research only to early commercializations, and the pieces are now in place to scale. And now we expanded from healthcare to industrials. So in Q1, we started generating revenues from AI nodes in Japan's senior care market. And now it's being used to monitor bowel movement patterns in long-term care homes 
and has already shown it about 85% accuracy across more than 2,000 test samples. Not too long ago, this accuracy was only about 80%. Now, because AI knows it's trainable, so the more data it uses, the more accurate it can become. And then in April, we integrated AI knows into Yugo's robots for the first time. Um, Yugo is Japan's largest uh, service, service robot company. Now these robots will be able to detect unusual smells in real time, such as gas leaks or waste while they patrol buildings. Field tests are now starting, uh, starting in motions. So these deployments really feed into our next phase, launching a platform model where AI nodes collect scent data and digitize it into a format we call smell ID. We're using that data to train our smell language model or we call it SLM. Think about it just like how ChatGPT is trained on text and vision models are trained on images. SLM will be trained on scent data. So our goal is to make scent a new AI signal, something that machines can learn from and act on. And we call this the next AI token. So this is what I know sets, sets us apart. We're not just selling the hardware, we're building a scalable AI platform for scent intelligence one that creates long-term value across healthcare, robotics, and industrial markets. Yeah, and as I know, it's kind of presses forward here. What milestone should investors focus on in the second half of 2025? Yeah, so we're focused on scaling across three key markets, the senior care, the robotics, and then the smart manufacturing with the partners I just mentioned. So in senior care, we'll expand our pilot programs in Japan and then explore market entries in Taiwan. And then in robotics, uh, we started we will start field testing with Yugo. And then these robots will be deployed in real environments like airports, public utilities, and office buildings. They use scent to detect gas leaks, problems, risk, anomalies. The human, where a human nose has trouble to smell these, we can help. So in smart manufacturing, uh, we'll launch our pilot with ASE, covering over 30 use cases in their factories. At the same time, Ken Mac and Solomon will start pilot AI nose in more industrial settings. Um, we'll be expanding our smell ID platform. Uh, this is our next step. We're training the uh, SLM models to recognize the everyday scents like uh, meat, like uh, food, beverages. Right now, we're over 90% accurate. So these models will power our smell IDs and support our smell tech as a service business. So all of these deployments will also improve our SLM. The more real data we collect, the more accurate our model become. And that's the power of our SLM platforms. They can learn and get better with every use. Just like our CEO says, um, smell is the next AI token. By the end of this year, uh, we aim to grow our pilot footprints, bring in new customers, and then prepare for recurring revenues in 2026. These milestones will position us to start generating multi-million dollar subscription-based revenues in 2026 and beyond. On that note, as always, I appreciate you taking the time today. As we pass it off to the viewer, we'd love to know what you think in that comment section and consider subscribing for News Catalyst as it comes down the wire. Of course, we're going to bring it to you here. But on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one.